from the heart of the earth. A stone so rare, men will do anything to possess it. And all who touch it are left with blood on their hands. A diamond is my ticket out of this godforsaken continent. So you, you obviously have, have been very active in, in certain causes that mean a lot to you. Um, is it hard to find movies that kind of can help you get messages across um, and, and do it in an entertaining way? You know, that's, to be honest, that's not my first priority when doing a movie. It's really like making a memorable film and, you know, something that, you know, people can be moved by emotionally. The great thing about this movie is that it does have a social message. That was just the added bonus. So don't tell me you're here to make a difference, huh? And you're here to make a buck? I'm here for lack of a better idea. That's a shame. Not really. Peace Corps types only stay around long enough to realize they're not helping anyone. Government only wants to stay in power until they've stolen enough to go into exile somewhere else. And the rebels, they're not sure they want to take over, otherwise they'd have to govern this mess. But TIA, right, Med? TIA. What's TIA? This is Africa. Was there a big learning curve for you? Did you find out just, you know, loads of things Absolutely. that you never thought about before? Absolutely. And the more I read, the more, you know, it's like one of those things, the more I read, the more I realize I have so much to learn. But it's great. Uh, it's great, I, you know, I've been really enjoying investigating. How much trouble do you think I would get into for talking about blood diamonds? You're a journalist. That's right. Piss off, huh? What kind of research did you do to kind of understand this whole, the whole, you know, diamond trade and everything that's going on? Well, you know, we uh, obviously there's a, a, a great amount of uh, research and understanding that has to take place about the diamond industry, uh, and the trade rules about diamonds, and a certain amount of uh, documentaries that you have to watch, uh, you know, in, in regards to the conflict that took place uh, in, in uh, several places throughout the continent. What was different about this character that was that made it challenging for you? Almost everything, you know. I have no military background. I never really heard a South African accent for more than a sentence. I couldn't identify one. I knew <clears throat> very little about conflict diamonds. So it, it was I, I knew it was very important to go there at least a month beforehand and really meet some of these mercenaries, learn more about the diamond trade, and, and really kind of immerse myself in that culture. Let me tell you something. You sell blood diamonds, too. Really? Yeah. Tell me, how is that? Who do you think buys the stones that I bring out? Dreamy American girls who all want a storybook wedding and a big shiny rock. It's like the ones they see in the advertisements of your politically correct magazine. So please, don't come here and make judgments on me, all right? Did you walk out more, I guess, concerned or more hopeful um, for the people? Did you did you feel like this will eventually all kind of work, get worked out? A lot of, you know, in Mozambique, a lot of people don't have clean water. There's not basic sanitation. There's not enough education for people, huge AIDS rate, problems with, you know, orphans. It's, you know, there's, it's staggering. There's so, so much to be done. So the people that, that have endured so much and, you know, there's the, we shot in Mozambique where there was a huge AIDS crisis going on and, and, and you know, there was problems with people not having enough food to eat. I mean, you name it, but they were still, the resilience of their, like, spirit to live was amazing, you know? You know, you drive around, people were dancing in the streets, and it makes you come home and say, what the hell do we have to complain about, you know? I like the fact that Maddie's an optimist, and I think that, I really do, like her, think that people can make a difference, you know? And in the long run, you know, films like this, and if a few people get motivated to ask questions and learn more, and maybe some of those people choose to get involved and take a stance and do what they can to, to help out, that's fantastic. And bit by bit, I think it can affect change. Well, God knows, but I, you know, I, I wish it, you know, it would uh, uh, be terminated, you know, w w you know, terminated now. I wish it was uh, over with and, and done with it, you know. 
Uh, but again, I, you know, presently it's still happening in, uh, uh, in Ivory Coast, for example, and, uh, and it's just not acceptable. Pick it up. Why? You are going to kill me anyway. I do not need to kill you, Solomon Van D. If you do not bring me the diamond, I will find the rest of your family, just as I have found your son. And people are going in for the entertainment. What do you hope they, they walk out with? What do you hope they take with them? You know, I hope they do, you know, I, because of being there, I'm, I'm giving to more organizations and I've seen the direct result of what, it, what happens when you, when you give to orphanages like the SOS and you see this beacon of hope amongst all this, you know, hardship and you, uh, that, you know, when you do contribute, when you do do something, there is an effect there. I got to see it. It's a wonderful thing to see hundreds of orphan children having new opportunity and new hope. But more so than that, you know, just be aware of having to do with conflict diamonds. Just be, be aware of what we do as consumers, you know, and how it affects people halfway around the world. I will find you if it takes my life. <laughs>